Hello, everybody watching this and the vinyl community. <laughs> I did that in reverse because the last time I made a video that didn't feature vinyl, um, I don't know what I did, but I should have done that. Um, this is not going to be a vinyl video. Um, it's a video about um, movies. I also collect movies like a lot of the vinyl community does. I know Matt Sands and his buddy Sam collect movies. I know um, Bratton Young who inspired my last movie video make collect movies. Um, me and Mr. Mayo has a movie channel, Mayo's Marquee. And um, Sergeant Pepper 13 has a movie channel as well. Um, and he inspired this video, Matt. So check his channel out, Sergeant Pepper 13. It's actually the Sergeant Pepper 13. And he has a video channel too, and I'm sorry I can't remember what it's called. Lately he's been posting his movie videos on his regular channel. So his, um, not regular channel, but his vinyl channel. So anyway, I don't want to take too much time here. Um, but lately he's been very into laser discs. And he's gotten me, again, very into LaserDisc. I've been collecting LaserDisc for a long time. I got a player free back in the early 90s. That thing weighs a ton. I remember carrying it home like two or three miles. Um, <laughs> going, oh my God, am I even going to make it? Um, carrying it on the Metro, that kind of stuff. And I used to see LaserDisc all over the place. I don't see them very much, although I've been buying them online. I found a couple of dealers that are good. And I'm being kind of selective. But, so I haven't bought very many records lately. I've been buying LaserDisc instead, just because they're cool. And So I'm going to show my whole Laser co collection, LaserDisc collection. This is going to be two parts. Two parts. So, uh, and I'm going to do it as quickly as I can. Um... I'm going to show them just because they're cool. Um, I mean, you could frame these things like records, at least a lot of them, and they're that cool. And some of them are still sealed, um, I will tell you that. And they're we're loosely in alphabetical order. Um, we're going to start with the African Queen, Humphrey Bogart, Catherine Hepburn. Still sealed. I've never watched this one yet. And um, I'm going, I'm working on improving my setup. And I'm not, I've watched one or two. I'm not going to watch any more until I get my improvements done. There you go, the African Queen. An Affair to Remember, of course, Cary Grant and uh, Nita Carr. Not a Nita Carr. <laughs> Deborah Carr. Nita Carr is a completely different person. This one has a gatefold. Um, they're like albums. You know, I mean, they're really cool. I won't show the backs of all of them. I really don't have the time. Um, Apocalypse Now. This one is at least a two-disc set. Um... The really deluxe version again, gatefold. Um, very cool. You can kind of see why people that like albums collect these things. Um, I'm a huge Hong Kong film fan, and I have many, many. This is Ashes of Time. Um, a Wong Kar, what was his? I forget his name. It's been so long. Wong Kar Wai movie. Um, very odd movie, but very cool. Um, W.C. Fields in The Bank Dick. Very good movie. Very funny. I love W.C. Fields. He's amazing. This is really cool. Works in progress. It's Beauty and the Beast. They needed to show a preview print. They, they were de debuting it somewhere. I forget where. The thing tells you the whole thing. And um, it wasn't finished, but they debuted it anyway. And it looks so cool with line drawings and stuff missing and stuff. That gives you a little bit of that. Um, that they showed it anyway, and then they put it out on Laserdisc that way. I don't know if this ever came out in video, the Work in Progress edition, but it's really cool, and it's one of the few Laserdiscs I'm really, really glad I have. Actually, more than a few, but it's one of the ones I really like. Um, Bell, Brook, and Candle. Great Jimmy Stewart movie. Love this movie. Ben Hur. Um, Nice gatefold on this one. A lot of these are two discs. The Big Blue, um, an early-ish, I'm not going to remember the guy, Luke Besson film. 
Um, it does have um, Jean Reno in it. The Bride Wore Black, a Truffaut movie. One of my favorites. I actually love this movie a lot. Um, and some of these, I like the last one and this one, I don't own on DVD. So it's really cool. And sometimes they're hard to find on DVD. So, really, really cool stuff. Bridge Over the River Kwai. The only place I've ever seen this movie is on Laserdisc. Another two disc set. Very cool. Great film. David Lean. Casablanca. First time I ever saw Casablanca, believe it or not, is this Laserdisc. Chinatown. A film to this day I still have not seen. Saw part of it in Paris. It was on television and I fell asleep. I still have not watched the laser disc. I'm very high on my list. Citizen Kane. Wish I had the criterion of this, but I do. See what I'm talking about? Flammable covers, though? This was a definitely frameable cover. Very, very cool laser disc. <laughs> I do have the criterion. What do you know? Here's the criterion version. This is uh, three discs of Citizen Kane. Forgot I had this. Very, very cool thing to have. Um, the people that say the best movie ever made, I kind of agree with them. Just a fantastic, fantastic film. Close Encounters of the Third Time, uh, kind. Uh, directors cut uh, two versions of the film in this, and uh, it's three discs in a box, and it's Close Encounters of the Third Kind. What can I say? It's awesome. But my box is falling apart a little bit. And it is a criterion. A lot of these are criterions, if I have been mentioning that. Um, the Dead and the Deadly, a Sam O. Hung film, Hong Kong. The Desperate Hours, maybe my favorite Humphrey Bogart movie. Love this movie to death. Double Indemnity. Finally, for my birthday, like two years ago, I got this from my friend Evan on DVD. Never had it before. This was all I ever had. Wasn't watching Laserdisc then, but really happy to have that one. Another amazing movie. The original Dracula restored version. Don't know what score this has, to be honest. Don't remember. Um, but very cool, of course, Bella Lugosi. Eastern Condors, another Sam Hung movie. Really good Hong Kong film. Erotic Ghost Story. <laughs> Another Hong Kong film. Interesting Hong Kong film. I'll just leave it there. My favorite American John Woo film by far. Face Off. Um, and of course, Cage and Travolta. I think Travolta was never better than in this film. And maybe the same with Cage. Love that movie. Walt Disney's Fantasia. It's sort of a must have, I think. The Complete Faulty Towers. <laughs> British television. Uh, of course, John Cleese. Amazing television program. This is every episode right here in this box. Jack Nicholson, Five Easy Pieces. Sally Struthers in this movie, too. First time I ever saw this was on Laserdisc. Forbidden Planet, amazing movie. My friend, again, Evan, loves this movie. Um, he got it on Blu-ray and lent it to me and looked really good on Blu-ray. But, again, I mean, this is a frameable cover right here. Just awesome. And uh, this is a great fold on that. Forrest Gump. What can you say about Forrest Gump? Gatefold. The Godfather. Now, I have to admit, <laughs> I used to have this thing. I, w I took um, film in college. I wanted to restore films for a living, and unfortunately, I never got there. But I used to have this thing of the films that you're supposed to see and supposed to know and supposed to love, I refuse to see. So I've never seen The Godfather. It's on my list. Own it on Laserdisc. Never seen part two either. I've never seen part three, but I do own them on Laserdisc. Don't own any of these on DVD. Um, they all have gatefolds, by the way. I haven't been showing, but show that one. 
Goodfellas. <laughs> really, really good Scorsese film. Great soundtrack. Holy cow. Really good. The Graduate. What can I say about The Graduate? Dustin Hoffman. Very cool. Japanese. Got the OB strip. The Great Rock and Roll Swindle. The Sex Pistols movie. This probably is my rarest laser disc at this point in time. Just really cool to have that. Green Snake, another Hong Kong film. Um, forget who's in this. Did you tell me? Probably not. It's a Tsui Hart film. Maggie Chung is in Green Snake. Hard Boiled, Chow Yun Fat. Great, great movie. This is a John Woo movie. Really, really good movie. This and The Killer are probably, in my opinion, his two best films. Hard Target. I am a uh, big John Woo fan. I'm not a huge fan of this movie, though, but it's, I think it's better than Broken Arrow. Um, so it's okay. It's not amazing. This is a really good movie. Lee Marvin and Toshiro Mifun with Hell in the Pacific. Two guys trapped on an island together. Don't know the war is over. Pretty cool. Heroes, Shed No Tears, another John Woo movie. Um, all of his stuff from the 80s anyway is amazing. His Hong Kong films. This is a very, very fun superhero movie. The Heroic Trio, another great Chinese movie, Hong Kong film. Very funny. Um, it's got Anita Mui, Maggie Chung, and Michelle Yeoh in it. Really, really good movie. Love that movie. You don't take it seriously, it's fantastic. High Risk, uh, Sammo Hung Again. The Iceman Cometh, this is a really good movie too. I forgot who made it, is this a Sui Hart movie? And Maggie Chung and Yen Bao is in this. I forget who directed it. Clarence Falk directed this one. The Ice Storm, um, really dark movie, it's an Ang Lee film, same guy that did um, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, um, good movie. <laughs> the Incredible Mr. Limpet, I think this is probably Don Lott's best movie, um, <laughs> it's just funny. The original Invasion of the Body Snatchers, another just classic, classic movie. Jackie Brown, a movie that I loved when it came out. Nah, it hasn't aged well, but I haven't seen it in a long time either. So maybe I would like it better now. Of course, Tarantino did it, along with a whole bunch of people, including Sam Greer and Sam Jackson in this movie. De Niro's even in this film. John Woo's Masterpiece, and this is the Criterion Edition. Very hard to find. Three um, laser discs in here. Um, just very, very cool movie. My cover's not in the best condition, but the discs are, and um, try finding the Criterion on DVD. It's out there, but it's hard to find. Last Tarash for Chivalry, an earliest John Woo movie. Last of the Mohicans, the silent movie. Um, really good, actually. It's just, I love silent film, too. Wish I had more on uh, Laserdisc. Lawrence of Arabia. This is a two-disc version. David Lean film. Fantastic. First time I ever saw this movie was on this Laserdisc. And it's just really, really good. By the way, I should show for those of you that don't know what a laser disc looks like. They look like giant CDs. Um, there's what a laser disc looks like. Um, they're just very, very cool things. And um, they can hold, I think, up to an hour on a side if you don't do special features and things. 
few special features, it cuts it down to about a half an hour aside. So you do have to flip the movies, but quality is actually really good. And last but not least for part one is um, Alfred Hitchcock's Mr. and Miss, Mrs. Smith, a film I did watch this a couple of nights ago. And I didn't think it was the best transfer in the world. It looked a little ghosty to me. But the movie's funnier and better than I remember. This is like Hitchcock's one and only comedy, pure comedy. And it's, it's a screwball comedy, and it's good. Carol Lombard, Robert Montgomery. It's really, it was a good film. Oh, I enjoyed it a lot. Um, really quick before I go, I wanted to tell you what I'm going to do. I've been watching videos, and um, there's a couple things you can do to, to make your, to upgrade your video quality on your um, LaserDisc player. Um, not too high def, but more too high def. Like a Blu-ray will upgrade a CD a little bit. Or not a CD, but you know, a DVD a little bit. Do the same thing with either an an amp. Onkyo makes really good ones. Um, or a DVD recorder, which is Panasonic makes really good ones of those. So that's what I went with. I've got one coming, and I'm gonna hook my um, laser disc through my um, my DVD recorder. And it, it should up the quality a little bit and make the picture just a little bit better than it already is. So I'll let you know how that goes because I will be doing updates on these because I do have some coming as well. But anyway, that's part one of this video. I am going to make part two. So stick around for that if you're into this sort of thing, if you're into movies. If you're not, <laughs> you're gone by now. Um... Thanks for watching. As always, hello new subscribers. Thank you so much. I have gotten to some of your comments. I am working on that, finally. And uh, check out my podcast, snapcracklepop.podomatic.com. It is still doing amazingly well. As we speak right now, it's number two on the pop chart still. Number 153 overall of all podcasts, which is just fantastic. And it's still Vietnam is making it happen. It's the weirdest thing. Anyway, check that out. Thank you all for watching, and uh, stick around for part two. Thanks.